one thing that is only there in India and few of our neighboring countries and for which people come back from whichever part of the world that they are in, of course, Indians, NRIs, is maids. And this is what our current video is, how to handle them, how to handle maids. <laughs> I have been a product of working parents, so of course, I was raised by my nannies and my maids and I thank them for that because the oldest nanny that I had when I was a baby taught me to eat non-veg, which means protein and this body is a, and this hair and this lustrous skin is a product of the habit which my nanny forced me to do, which is to eat non-veg. <laughs> So guys, this brings us to our most important topic is maids and of course, of course, they are an invaluable and integral part of any Indian household. But these days I have observed that many of my friends are complaining about them. Many of my friends are also saying that, you know, maids tikte nahi hai yaar, what to do? Hence this video, which is an answer and a simple solution to all your maid problems. First of all, there are different kinds of maids. If you are an Indian and who was born and brought up in India and especially in Bombay, we have many, many, many different maids with different titles. So it is the jhadu poche wali, it is the cook, it is the bache sambalne wali, which is the nanny and it is the upar upar ka kaam wali and we, these days I am also hearing of someone called as a dusting wali. <laughs> So of course, there are lots of maids in India who have been given different, different titles. Now, let me start by explaining to you why this is there and why this is the correct system. So first of all, if you have one single maid who is handling the entire house, the day that maid goes on leave, you have to do the entire housework on your own, which is absolutely not possible. Hence, Keeping many maids is an ideal solution. This brings me to the further point of how to handle them. First of all, I'm talking about the nanny because I have two kids and two dogs and nannies form an integral part of my life. So, how to treat a nanny is, first of all, call them didis, call them uh, maushi, you know, whatever, however, depending on what age your nanny is and never call, ever ask your kids to call them by name. Like, you know, hey Asha, ikde ye, hey Nisha, ikde ye. That is absolutely wrong. Giving them respect is the first thing which should come to your mind and this is how your kids will also learn how to give them respect. So calling them something like Didi, Chachi or, uh, you know, Maushi or something like that is what you should do. So the second thing how to treat your nanny is to absolutely assign her roles or if you ask me in the HR language then write down her KRAs, write down her key responsibility areas. What is a nanny responsible for doing in my own household? Now the nanny, I have two nannies, one is for my older one and one is for my younger one. So the younger one takes up most of the nanny's time. Hence, that nanny is specifically de de dedicated to Shiny. So what does she do? As soon as Shiny gets up, she makes her brush her teeth, she gives her a bath, she gives her breakfast, which I have told them how to make. And of course, uh, like I told you, mostly my kids eat dosas in the morning. So the dosa batter is always ready prepared by me. So they make the dosas and serve. They also make the tiffin for both the kids. So the uh, nanny responsible for the older one makes the tiffin for the older girl and the younger one ka nanny makes her own tiffin and packs her bag and stuff like that. And she also drops her to school. We have a driver for that. Driver is also one of the servants or you know mates so called. So then what I'm trying to say by explaining all these things is that my nanny is only responsible for my kids duties and she doesn't sweep the house she doesn't go and buy groceries she doesn't do any kind of top work or jhadu katka or stuff like that but she is responsible for what my kids do so suppose kids have created a mess and where they have splattered paints all over the wall or all over the floor it is nanny's responsibility to clean 
it is also nanny's responsibility to take care of the kids clothes maintain their bags you know also see you know if the tiffin is removed from the bag if the bag is clean to wash the bag so my nanny is only limited to what my kids do and i just tell her you know on and off that you know please get me a glass of chai or can you get me some water or if there is something which is missing in the house like you know bread and butter or some fruits and veggies she just gets it from below our building so i have absolutely determined my nanny's kras in fact both the nannies have individual and different roles to play in both the kids life this is how my nannies are very happy with me and they do not leave my house the second and the most important point now i am generally going to talk about how to manage all the maids this includes the driver as well okay so the first and the foremost important thing is to delegate tasks to them and do not interfere in their tasks for example i have a housemaid as well and i tell her to clean one part of the house each day so today for example just before i started making this video i told her that you have to clean the balcony and there is a stand next to the balcony where i have kept books and stuff like that you need to clean that so that is her task for the day i have delegated her the task now i will not go ahead and interfere with the task saying that kaun sa sabun use kiya ye use kiya ke nahi kaun sa brush use kiya please do this please do that see this see that see this do that this is what now suppose place yourself in the maid's position and you have been assigned a duty by your boss and your boss keeps on interfering and nagging you how will you feel you will not feel nice right hence just delegate the task and forget about it and you also tell them that when i delegate you the task i will just make sure that you have done that task at the end of the day so just check if the cupboard is clean or no it's clean that's it if they have done some mistake there is a way of talking to them to not shout at them instead this is a trick that i use with almost all the maids is that you know if you don't do your stuff properly or you know if you take too many holidays what i am going to do is i am going to deduct your salary now there was an office which i had joined long back in 2008 who used to cut my salary for being late for even one minute or if it even if it was raining heavily or there were floods or whatever calamities happened they did not care and i was really pissed off and annoyed with that company but that cutting the salary policy works properly with all these maids so if you tell them that ye kaam barabar nahi karenge to salary katunga ya katungi they will do the work properly again the most important thing here of productivity or being focused is the same like a routine so every individual be it a maid or a ceo needs a routine so you make a routine for all your maids so as soon as my housemaid comes in i tell her to sweep the floor and clean this a uh, sweep and swap is the first thing that she does she tidies up the entire house and then she moves on to the kitchen and does whatever 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 so every maid that comes in my house has an established routine what do you do when you come what do you do in the afternoon and what do you do in the evening what do you do at night so the routine is perfectly mapped for them i just delegate tasks to them according to the routine and i tell them in the morning that this is the list of tasks that you need to complete today i do not ask how why when or interfere it ye theek se kiya kya wo theek se kiya kya ye karo wo karo do not confuse them make a routine for them make a plan for them and just stick to that plan every day this will ensure that your maid is happy because once a task is given to them and they have completed it they have their free time and that is our next point is also give the maids free time so now your routine is mapped up that the maid needs to get up at 7:30 am in the morning and has a little bit of free time in the evening for example 2:30 to 4:30 when your kids sleep give them a little leeway let them watch tv their mobile phones give them your wifi they are also human beings so they need to rest so give them a little bit of free time in the evening if you are not at home do not lock the maid at home instead you ask her that you know you may be go for a evening walk you know let them do whatever makes them happy and that way they'll be happy and giving them free time also means that you know they get to do their stuff of things 
For example, if I give my maid a little bit of bonus or a tip here and there, she would like to go uh, to, to the station or a nearby shopping center and buy something for herself. So if you don't give them that free time, they end up getting frustrated. This is also one of the way to make sure that they are happy and they remain with you for a longer time. <laughs> yes, maids do take holidays and of course they deserve to take holidays because as we have our weekly offs, they also need some offs in the day. So this is a general policy and general rule which all of my friends follow is giving them holiday paid leaves twice in a month. So they can decide when to take that. But I have also made it a policy that you know, you should not accumulate your leaves. So six months, you don't take any leaves and then go on for 12 days. That is not allowed. But we, we are in Bombay, we are in Maharashtra. So during all the major festivals like Ganpati especially and, you know, Diwali, they take, uh, for example, 10 days off or seven days off. So here I've made it a rule that, you know, you can take your seven days off, but then you will not be paid for these seven days. And I have made it extremely clear to them right from the beginning so making things clear and giving them holidays and also setting a date that you know if you're telling me that you're coming back on 10th do come back on 10th otherwise your salary will be cut this rule again follows again of you know salary getting deducted and i tell them that double of your salary will get deducted and also you won't get increment for the year so this makes sure that you know they come back and also start working on the day and the date they promised. So this is how you handle the holiday system for them. But don't get bogged down. I know I do get bogged down and tensed if my mate doesn't come back on time. It's okay. If you have been good to them, if you are a good employer, if you're paying them well, if you're taking care of them, then they will come back. If you ask me how to find mates, then I would suggest that you follow whatever method you have been following. You can uh, refer a maid agency or I have always found maids through references, through my friends, through their contacts, through their sisters. I think that is a more reliable and an established way to find a maid. But I think you can follow your own process of finding a maid. And I think nannies have been so important in my life because they have given me the support and the freedom to enjoy my life. So the vacations that you see me going on so many bike trips is because I have a backup plan at home and I'm not dependent on anyone like my relatives or my mother-in-law or my mother because you know they, their age is not on their side they are frailing and they are becoming older so I wouldn't want to entrust them with the responsibility of managing a small kid which I myself can't hence these people are important so treat them with respect pay them well and do all these pointers so that you have your maids with you for a longer time. So how did you like this video on how to handle your maids? I'm sure it's uh, one of those rare videos which you wanted to know but nobody had published it. So if that is the case then do show us a lot of love by liking the video, commenting on the video and subscribing to our channel. Also share our channel with a lot of people so that you know it helps us uh, maintain our channel and also grow our channel so thank you so much guys for watching this video i'm sure you have uh, having a great time in your life and all your mates and you and your kids are happy thank you so much bye keep on rocking